This video is gonna be on the Blake's hitch. I'm gonna tie it a couple of different ways. The first way I'll tie it is a more traditional way where I just use this um, single piece of rope doubled over a branch, tie it to a piece of hardware and to itself. The next way I'm gonna tie it will be in a split tail fashion. That's where I have another two uh, carabiners, one with a termination in and one termination on my split tail. We're going to tie this in the way that the ISA would like to see it. If you're not familiar with the ISA, it's the International Society of Arboriculture. Um, it's worldwide and what the ISA does is certifies people in um, as tree climbers. So this is how we'll, we'll do it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this rope to my carabiner. What I'll need to do is I'll get a wing span of length. This is what I'll need to um, you know, this much rope in order to use, to be able to tie the knot and also the bridge and everything that I'm gonna to need to attach to my line. So once I've got this wingspan, now the, the, knot, the knot that I'm going to use will be an anchor hitch. So to do that, I'll bring the rope through my carabiner. I also wanted to mention that all these knots that we're gonna use in this video, we've done in the past. So you guys might wanna have a look at those. They'll be in the link in the description below. So now that I've passed the rope through my carabiner, I'm gonna have the standing part of the line on the spine of my carabiner. Now I'll do one wrap, another, making a complete turn. Now I'll get this tail end and I'll bring it through the wrap or the complete turn. And now I'll snug it up, okay? Get it tight, all right? once I've done that, now I'm going to have a bridge. Now the bridge, it will depend on your body and the length of your arms. You have to have enough for a pull. <clears throat> so I'll put the rope over my standing part. Now I'll wrap upward four times. One, two, three, here's a fourth. Once I've done that, see my wraps? I'll bring this over my line. And once I captured the bridge, now I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to open two of these wraps. I'm going to put my tail through it. Once I do that, I'll make it tight. I'll be tying, dressing, and setting. That's where I'm going to get everything in line to make sure it's all proper and set. Now what I'll do is I'll put a little tension on my line, put a little bit of weight on it. Now I can see that it's tight. Now I'll put a figure of eight stopper because this is an open end, you need to have a stopper. So this is my figure of eight here. Pass it through. And that's the Blake's and a traditional method. So the next method I'll show you is with a split tail. The reason I wanna show you a split tail because in this way, I've seen lots of people climb with this traditional method. And when you're taking the climber's test, there's a chance that you might have to advance multiple times. In advancing, you'll have to untie your knot over and over because you know you have to go over between branches. So the split tail will help you be a little bit quicker. And it is a time test, so you wanna make sure that, that you can use your time more wisely. Having a split tail would be a lot, it'll give you better chances of passing the test. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the split tail. So there are split tails that have sewn eyes in them. Um, this one's way too long. They're not normally this long. Um, some, they're usually about this long if it's a wide eye. There's also some split tails that have a really small eye. And if you have a carabiner with a small eye, that's something you can do. But you couldn't use a carabiner with a wide eye. So what you would want to do is if you had a wide eye is use a girth hitch. So a girth hitch would be, you know, you, you tie it in this way 
and then you would put your carabiner in. So the reason for that, if, if you had a wide eye and you try to put a carabiner on it, the carabiner could side load. But having a girth hitch, it'll hold it in place. So that's something to be aware of if you have a carabiner with a small sonai, I mean a, a, a split tail with a small sonai, you can use it. If it's a wide eye, you gotta make sure you know how to do the girth hitch so your carabiner won't side load. So um, I don't have a split tail that way, so what I have is a piece of rope and I've tied a double fisherman's on it. This is my double fisherman's and here's a split tail. It's really simple, you could create one on your own. This is something that's legal to use, having a double fisherman's. It'll hold your carabiner in place if that's what you plan on using. Um, so what I'll do is I'll attach this to my belt underneath. Alrighty. And now what I'll have to do is I'll attach the termination of my rope to my carabiner. So same, same thing, um, if I had a spliced eye here, as long as it was a small one, I could connect my carabiner. I don't have that, so I will use a termination knot. There are three different ones you can use. The one I plan on using today is an anchor hitch. The other two is one's a butt line, and the other one is also a um, double fisherman's bin. But today I'll do the same thing. When I'm tying the anchor, I want the standing end to be on the carabiner spine, so I'll get it set by doing a full complete turn around the carabiner and now I'll get the tail end and I'll slide it through the complete turn. Now the tail is important when you're doing termination hitches. You have to have on your tail at least five diameter lengths for it to be okay to use. Anchor, bunt line, and double fishermen's do not require a stopper, but you have to have at least the proper length, so five diameter lengths. This is a little bit more, so it's okay to use. I'll tie a dress and set it. I have that connected. Now what I'll do is I'll use the split tail that I've created. I'll get my length of bridge that I think I'll need. Now I'll wrap upward four times. One, two, three, four. Once I get my fourth wrap, I'll bring the tail over the bridge. Once I have that, now I'll get the two bottom wraps. I'll put my tail through, through those two. Okay. Send it up through. I got to that point. I'll just high dress and set it. Get them all in order. I'll get some weight on it. Make sure that it's going to hold. All right. Put weight on it. Now I know it's going to hold. Same thing as before. You'll need a stopper. So we'll use a figure eight stopper. There I go. So now there we have the Blakes with a split tail. So with this split tail, it could make your climb or it will make your climb a lot more quicker. So in the test, there's chances you'll have to advance. So you would throw your lanyard around the tree. If you're advancing, you've got to your, your tie in point. It's a lower more likely a lower branch. All you have to do is disconnect your termination and then you could throw it over the next branch above you. If you were going to throw it super high you may have you have to take your carabiner off and throw it way high. You get it back to yourself, you tie it and connect back to yourself. But if you have to do this multiple times it's a lot easier to disconnect and reconnect a carabiner than to untie your friction hitch multiple times. Remember that when you're going to be taking that test, each knot that you're going to tie, it's to be tied within a minute. 
Um, they use a timer, so a lot of people get flustered when the timer starts. You want to practice this hitch or the hitch that you're going to use and get it down like you can do it blindfolded. You want to do your best not to be nervous and just do it till you feel so comfortable. Good way to practice, watch it with the video and um, check your work after you feel like you've got it down. Do it on your own, try to time yourself, make sure you're ready to take the test. It sounds funny, but a lot of times when you get there, time starts, people get flustered. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our video. Take care. We'll see you next time.